Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. Uh, last time we did Zephyr, and then I thought, you know, we've done four levels here, and Autumn Plains we've only done 20%, so we should have a look around in the hub world here and see what we need to do. Uh, so we can go talk to... Fawn Lady over here, what's her name again? Elora? Well done, Spyro. Yes. The power from your orbs has activated the whirlwind. Oh, uh, thanks, Alora. <laughs> oh, I see. Uh, no thank you. I won't go to the speedway, but I'll grab the gems in front of it. Alright, well, that's something. <laughs> we got two gems. Um, hmm. What else can we do? I know there's some people we can talk to if we head a bit further into this into the castle sort of area, so let's do that. Up 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 up. Yeah, the climbing is a bit silly. <laughs> Uh, is another level. We'll go there shortly. Hang on the life we can get here. Let's do that. There we go. Um, keep looking around. Fracture Hills? Is there like a gem behind it or something? No? Hmm. I've already been through here, I'm pretty sure. The first time we visited, I went to all these little areas. Magma Cone. So I'm not sure where the missing treasure is. Hmm. Shady Oasis? Hmm. <laughs> uh, there's money bags over there. We gotta pay him to open that area. I suppose we do need to do that at some point. Because we've gotta be able to get everywhere. Would you like me to take you to a world where you can find a new talisman? Uh yes. Great. I'll take you to a new portal. Um, I already have the talisman from Crystal Glacier. Why did she do that? <laughs> that didn't make any sense. Uh, I thought she'd take me somewhere where I haven't got the talisman yet, but she didn't. Because, yeah, I have the talisman in Crystal Gla Glacier, which is where she took me. Question mark? <laughs> hmm. I figured that was meant to help you find a level you hadn't done yet, but it, it doesn't do that. Hmm. Um. There should be more treasure around. I might not be able to get to all of it because I can't open the boss door without all the talismans. And that's the boss door down there. That one. Um, but I should be able to find some of the treasure I'm missing. Would you like me to take... Come find me if you ever need help locating a world where you haven't yet retrieved the talisman. Hmm. We're well, not very good at helping with that, so... Uh, let's try paying money bags and see if unlocking that gives me anything else. Because I can't really see any other places I'd need to go to, you know, get orbs and stuff, and I don't have any orbs for the hub yet, so... I would love to let you enter this speedway free of charge, Spyro. Love to! Unfortunately, the speedway rules require me to charge a, a small fee. Hundred gems, all right. Chosen wisely. I bet a quick dragon like you will win your money back in no time. Eat the rich. Um, yeah, that just unlocks this level. It didn't give me any other access to gems out here in the overworld. So, hmm, what am I missing here? Is there just a gigantic amount of stuff behind the boss door? I mean, I guess that's possible, but I don't think that's it. Sparks are circling above me, so let's try to go up. I think if I go this way, there's some stairs up. Oh, hang on. Peep out this window here. Maybe there's like a hidden ledge or something. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be. 
Interesting. Um, yeah, let's try going this general direction up the stairs here. Let's see what we can find. Sparks is now circling down the stairs. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's the locked area behind the boss door, but it's surprising that apparently everything is there. Um, I guess I can just go into one of the levels and continue with the regular process if we can't find anything else to go to. Yeah, Sparks is now circling above me, which is interesting. Because the boss door is not above me, the boss door is further down, down there. Hmm... Interesting. Uh, let's try going into one of the levels and we'll come back here and see what we find later, I guess. So we've done all the ones that are out the front of the castle. Uh, so now we want to do the ones that are inside the castle, basically. So we've got Fracture Hills. There was another one up here, I think. Scorch? So let's do Scorch first because it's the first one you see when you come in. Um, let's have a look. Yeah, I, I assumed there were parts of the homeworld I hadn't looked at yet, but it doesn't seem like there are, and we're still missing, you know, 80% of the stuff you're supposed to do there. Unless, you know, the boss counts for a large amount, but the boss areas do show up as separate things normally, so... I don't know. Um, maybe I need a move that I haven't got yet, like the, I'll get in the next tub world, and that'll help me find everything. It's possible. Alright, cutscene, yeah. Okay, we got some little kitties. <gasps> A lollipop. <gasps> it's a trap! Oh no! Brother Handel and I have been sent here to blow at this castle, but Handel got caught by these evil soldiers, and I'm stuck out here. Oh, whoa. If you can open the doors that block the way, I can find Handel, and we can complete our super secret spy mission. Oh, whoa. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, well, I can't walk on the sand, which is interesting. It doesn't look that slippery, but it's very slippery, apparently. So I guess I can't go that way. Um... You an enemy? Yep. You're a camel sticking your head in the sand. Which is like tiles. I don't know how you're doing that. It's very impressive. <laughs> Are you shooting at me? Oh, you have a slingshot. Okay. I guess that's genre appropriate, yeah. I mean, in the first game, some of Ganasti's Ganorks. Gaminions do have like Ganuns. Guns. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so I, I I mean it's not really out of genre for this particular game. It has a bit of a mixture of stuff. What does this button do? Oh, it raises the flag, okay. Hooray for swords, also an open door. I see a bunch of stuff up there, but I doubt I can reach it. Yeah, I'm gonna need to come from the other side. Hey, thanks for your help, slingshot friend. Sorry I had to murder you anyway, but... It's just how this game goes, you know. Oh, I can see someone with an orb quest up there. Oh, I know you. Monkeys have escaped from the Avalar Zoo, and I've been sent here to catch them. But they keep throwing coconuts at me, and it hurts! 
Can you help me out? Um, let them be free. Great. Just charge the tree before I get hit. I'll be able to catch the monkeys as they fall. Follow me. So there's clearly going to be room for like one monkey in that barrel, so... <laughs> Dang it. Okay. Animation is a little questionable, but I guess it sort of works? <laughs> Ow! Yeah, this is not a great orb quest. I guess as orb quests go, it's not too bad, but orb quests in this game are not very good. <laughs> I assume they haven't been changed from the original, which maybe they should have been. I know it's a, you know, it's supposed to be a faithful remake, but if this is not fun, then maybe it needs changing. Please yeah. take this. One of the monkeys had it. The monkeys are still in the trees. I can see them. Did, did anything happen? Look, they're still there. And they're immune to fire for some reason. Hmm. Now I work, yeah. Gotta go over here. Wonder how many of these I need to defeat to get the um, power up bonus or whatever. I guess we'll see. Drop the flag and then Gretel can go. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Oh, that one's got like a, what is that, like a crossbow sort of thing? Like, I don't know. It looks a bit like a crossbow, but I'm not sure if that's what it is. No, not, not like in terms of shape, but I think in terms of functionality it was kind of similar. You should get my, my drift. <laughs> Anyway. Hmm, I get a good view of that uh, pot I haven't broken yet over there. So I probably need to use a power up or something to open that. Flag goes up. I'm guessing the talisman is a sword. <laughs> Since, um, yeah. A lot of swords about. Uh, here's some disgusting green swamp water. I'm guessing that'll cause damage if I step in it, so let's not step in it. <gasps> Look at all those treasure! Shouldn't have taken a hint there, that was silly. doing treasure wise eh, not bad
Okay, so yeah, the power-up is a super flame, which means we can shoot stuff over a certain range instead of just right in front of me. And it'll break things like that thing I couldn't open earlier. Wait, secret agent. Now Handel and I can complete our mission. By the way, you can have this talisman. I stole a it talisman. Went looking. Oh, it's a it's a beetle, scarab beetle. Okay. Uh, I thought it'd be a sword, but all right, maybe a sword was somewhere else. secret mission was successful but the flag keeper keeps stealing them if you can knock the flag keeper down you could bring the flags back my secret decoder ring says that this power-up thing should help you do, you do you have a secret decoder ring okay so who is this the flag keeper you're talking about Like, I have no idea what I'm looking for. <laughs> hmm. I can't see anyone on top of any of these poles. Is that what they said? Hang on, can I talk to you again? My ugly sister was supposed to get the flag. Off of the flagpole. Well, I guess I gotta look at the flagpoles I went past already? I, I don't know. Oh, it's that guy. Okay. Pachui! Oh, I have to avoid his bombs? Alright. I guess I can do that. What the heck is the Flag Keeper? He looks like a Binding of Isaac demon or something. Oh. I can't take any hits. Bob the Flag Keeper. Fair enough. Oops. Oh, that's not good. So they don't do any damage, but it resets you to the beginning if you get hit once, so... Basically, it's one of those orb quests that are annoying. <sighs> you wanna help? Girl, help. She's not helping. I got one. But there are still two flags out there. Sorry, Handel, I'm not getting them. Now I'm gonna get them. <laughs> oh my goodness. I saw some gems around here somewhere. Um, yeah, there we go. Alright, so I have to use the super flame to hit him again at one of the other flag spots. And then probably redo that same thing over a greater distance. Yay. Yeah, there he is. Still after my flags, dragon? Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. 
wonder if using the rolling moves would help here. It might. Yeah, actually, it's like a good place to roll. There's very rarely a reason to do that, so it's kind of cool that the uh, ability has some use. Flag two. You're so Fine. I'll get your stinking flag. There you go. There we go. You won't get my last flag so easily, purple beast. All right. So yeah, it's just redoing the same thing three times and it gets longer. I guess you could mix up the order if you wanted, do the other ones earlier, but there's no reason to. Little gems! Also, yeah, you can pretty easily dodge his attacks just by going off the ground a little bit, because he doesn't seem to know how to attack when you're in mid-air. <laughs> hmm. Oops. Did that reset the whole thing? Yeah. Uh... This is my problem with the orb quests. Essentially, if you mess up at all anywhere, you do the whole thing again. Granted, I don't need to get the other two flags again, it's just doing this flag again, but it's still annoying. So yeah, the trick to this is just to not walk on the path, basically. <laughs> they aren't really bombs, given they don't have any, like, area effect when they explode. You just gotta not get touched by them. It's not too difficult. I say as I keep messing it up. Do you want to help? No. Just standing there. Great job, Agent Spyro. How can we repay you for your efforts? How about this orb that I found in the sand? Yeah, that'll work. All orbs collected! 100% level complete, yeah! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Let's return home. Okay, there'll be a cutscene when we leave. Nice. Kinda wish they'd done that earlier, like when I was chasing the flag keeper and could have used some help, but alright. Well, I didn't get anything in the home. I, I guess maybe some stuff unlocks later? I don't know. Hmm. Anyway, we're returning to Autumn Plains. Let's just have a think about this for a little bit.
I'm pretty sure Sparks are telling me to go to the boss room, which I have can't unlock until I have all the talismans. So, I guess that must be where the other, like, what is it, half of the treasure is? A little bit less than half, but yeah, that's a lot of treasure. I, I guess it's all behind that boss door, which is weird, but that's all I can think of. Um, I guess in the next video we'll just do another level, and we'll continue in that way. So, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Next time, probably this one, Fracture Hills. That was Scorch just there, right? Yes. Okay, bye!